say the point of the rumor that came up with you giving the chairmanship to a particular person here? Yeah. Mm. Yes, as I said, I was also aware I had heard and I knew a lot of things that people were saying by way of interpreting interpreting my condition. I see yes sir. We come from a community, a society where nothing happens for nothing. But everything has a causative effect or to use a big word a metaphysical reason uh, reasons that we don't know mm -hmm. so that's why in africa or in ghana people go to soothsayers to find out the cause of this or that or that and and number two in our african thinking or well not just that in the old testament uh, dealings they associated since problems and sicknesses and things of that sort to sins that people had committed. You know that beautiful story in John chapter 9 where they met Jesus and his disciples were traveling and they saw this blind man. What the blind man needed was compassion. He needed people to have compassion on him. He needed, he wanted to find a way to Jesus knowing that if he got to Jesus by all means his question or his problem of blindness will be resolved but when Jesus and his disciples got to this man you know what they asked the apostles the apostles yeah, turned and asked Jesus who sinned who sinned somebody in pain in difficulty who needed compassion they began with judgment they they judged him straight away that somebody must have sinned that's why he got into that condition but jesus came in to say neither he nor his parents nor any others are for the glory of god so number three we have a cultural outlook that assumes that good things should not happen to bad people neither should bad things happen to good people so if something bad happens to a good person they try to find out what the cause is mm -hmm. yeah i'm not perfect but i know i'm a good person i also know that about 99.9 percent .9 of all of you listening to me and Ghanaians know that a person to me is a man of God is a good person mm -hmm. so then why should this happen to me they cannot associate it with anything divine but God's plan mm -hmm. so what did I hear the stories were very many and told from different angles but the summary was simply that God had crushed me, he had knocked me down because God through a prophetic message had appointed a chairman for the church but I, a person to me refused to give the chairmanship to the one who was so named in the prophecy yeah so there was a prophecy and that a person to me did not uh, hand over the chairmanship to the one who was named in the prophecy that's why God has crushed him mm. but they don't know many <clears throat> many don't know about uh, the, the, the election electioneering system of the church when somebody's name is mentioned in the prophecy the executive council will sit down and discuss it and accept it or not so, the executive council headed by, by myself, we met, including the person who was named in the prophecy. That is our own beloved prophet, J.E. Amaya, my very, very, very good friend. And he was also part of the executive council. So, we discussed the prophecy, and the executive council accepted it. 
Now, the second stage of proposing somebody's name to become chairman was to meet the electoral college. The electoral college in the church is all the apostles and prophets, area heads, national heads, missionaries, all of us constituted or constitute the electoral college. So when the executive council brings somebody's name to be considered for the post of a chairman, the electoral college also discusses it. And then at that level, we vote. And we need it, we would need only a simple majority. Mm -hmm. If there were 50, I mean 100 people, 51 must say yes. Mm -hmm. So we didn't reject Prophet's name. We didn't throw his name aside. Apostle to me did not say, let's not pr present Prophet Amiya's name. We sent it and then the council voted. If you are there to see the votes, it's so, it's, 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 it's so surprising. 53, uh, 55 voted against him, that's no. And 53 voted for him. Three people did not vote. So, only two marks, two, two simple votes separated uh, from the mayor from going through. So, if those three people who didn't vote had voted, maybe we, we don't know what uh, so. so please beloved members of the church of Pentecost a person to me didn't refuse to present prophet Amiel's name we presented his name at the executive level and then at the general at the elected electoral college level he couldn't make it so we had to go back propose apostle professor Pukuna, who went through and then ended at the third stage, which was the general council proper, and he won. So please, uh, I would like to say that many of those who say these things say it out of ignorance. My problem started in 1992 in Ivory Coast when we were going on a trek. We were involved in a car accident. My wife's collar bone broke into three. And it affected my spine without my knowing. And I carried those pains for nine years until I became chairman. And the workload increased and the problem also increased to a point that I couldn't even stand for more than three minutes. Mm -hmm. So these things had gone on for um, how many years? It, 92. Six solid years before you know i got into this condition when i went for the surgery the, the doctor looked at my spine saw the spinal cord and told me that doctor and to me you've waited for far too long when i perform this operation you are going to lose the use of your hands and feet but they will begin to recover so the doctor told me all this and i agreed so so um if i thought what people of the Church of Pentecost should be doing was to pray for me, pray for us, ask God for His grace, instead of sitting somewhere to, to judge. Somebody even insulted me and he rained down curses on me and all that. But for me, you ask about my reaction. When I see those things, I don't bother because I know they don't know. <laughs> And that if there is, that God will forgive them so that he doesn't punish anybody because of what they keep saying. So when things are happening, when you don't know the cause or the origin, I think it's better to keep quiet than to spread information which may not be true. Mm. Thank you, Dad. Oh, yeah, no, 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 Na na to ye wo ho ta o o ye ye ho wa ye o ye na na to ye wo ho ta Look at people going to battle at the time of King Jehoshaphat and they saw the armies of Moab and Mansa and all these Assyrians against them the trump 
the musicians started trumpeting. Pray, give thanks to the Lord because He is good and His mercies endure forever. And as they sang those song, that song, there was confusion in the joint army, joint army of uh, their enemies, and they fell, killed each other. So that is my favorite song. God is good. Uh -huh. Sing to the Lord, He is good and His mercies endure forever. God bless you and bless you indeed. Amen.